Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bronze Casters. We are here today, and we've got a very special game for you. But before I tell you about it, I'd like to welcome into the booth my friend, Simply Nickish. How are you doing today? I'm good. Good evening. Good morning or good afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Uh, yeah, this is uh, one of our own games. This and why is, are we doing that stage? <laughs> this is one of our own games, and we've decided to cast this because you want to know something? You might be like, oh, the bronze casters. Well, they've got to be in, like, Grandmaster, right? They're probably gods at every game that mm -hmm. they play. Not true. Um, so we are pl currently playing in a silver lobby in this, uh, which is yep. only marginally better than the games that we spectate. Uh, but you know what they say, it takes one to know one. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the game. <laughs> what are yeah, you this expecting is, uh, this from this outcome that we uh, definitely haven't seen before? Just kidding, it's our own game. This is uh, this is quite a, a, a spectacular one uh, from, from both points. Uh, I can definitely say for myself, I mean, this was maybe one of my best games I've ever had. Oh, you think so? You think it was? Oh, ab absolutely. And you I think, think the evidence will certainly show that, yep. The evidence is showing that you were the last one to choose a character and uh, <laughs> are now going to meet the rest of the team. <laughs> so it should also be noted that for those of us who, kn uh, who know, we actually played this one live on stream. Um, yep. Nick, Nick's so, stream, uh, it's on the screen right now. Go there. Yeah. Have fun. All right, so they're starting off with the Bastion, a Reaper combo. Uh, I find this particularly dirty. I did like the Sigma, uh, you know, just checking to make sure nobody was around that wall as the red team starts their assault. I do like these bank shots from the Sigma. You know, he's playing, he's playing pretty smart. He's trying to see what he can, mm -hmm. uh, he can see what he can do. The grasp going out, trying to soak up a little bit of that damage. Um, and let's see if they're able to make it up past this wall. The rock coming this out. First be able choke to is always the hardest. Getting round this corner, can, and unless you get that early pick, can feel really difficult. Yeah, it, it really can be. And you'll see in different levels that uh, different levels of, of, of gameplay, like uh, different tiers, will actually hold different choke points. And like the earlier metal ranks, such as like bronze, silver, maybe even gold, they hold up at that first choke point. The yeah. uh, like grandmasters and up around there, they actually hold at this choke point where the sigma's at right now. Uh, they hold like the high ground right there, which is which is really interesting. Oh, the Hanzo getting a good shot in on the Bastion. Nice clean shot. Reaper's trying to go back around and get a little bit of flank action going on, but he's gonna use his fade in order to get out. That's the snowball. I feel like once you uh, once you get the first pick off, that's that's where it starts to snowball, and then you just need to regroup and reset. And Absolutely. Push together. Dragon coming out from the Hanzo, already there. having it and able to get. At least one kill down on the That's red team. Here we go. It was really early. He must be laying down some good damage. Bastion going to be going into turret formation, or as, as we like to call it whenever we're playing sport mode, uh, yeah. similar to Crocs. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a fun thing that uh, our friend Marl came up with. You know, I, n I don't even own a pair of Crocs, and I never have. And I I've don't never I had will. Crocs either, but apparently they're actually great. Kitsune apparently coming out from the Kiriko on the red team. Big things oh, coming out. The, the, uh, oh my gosh, the red team is putting down the hurt on the blue team right now. Four people going down. Actually, it looks like, was that a team kill? Not quite. I don't think they got, there was one that, that they didn't get. excellent combination there, the Bastion with the Kiri. Oh, speaking of, <laughs> there he oh. is. <laughs> blue team Hanzo yeah, was hiding. Why, why else would he get here? What's that? And of course, uh, and of course myself, you know, not dying there, but still having my ultimate available for this push here. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> Bastion going around completely ignoring the high ground Very blue close. team. Uh, almost being taken out, but he's able to hold his own, getting some good heals from uh, from Stage 1 on the Moira. <laughs> Bastion all coming back. out. Who's he going to hit? Blue team grouped up. So exciting. Is he able to get anybody? Unfortunately not, but he did scatter them a little bit. It just pushes, uh, pushes the blue team off the point. Let's him get a, just a little bit of extra distance, and he can start racking that back up again. Absolutely. I say absolutely a lot. I wonder if anybody watching this has noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like my go-to affirmative phrase. <laughs> oh, big headshot Clean. coming down on the Kiriko from the blue team Hanzo. Sights, sights coming out from Simply Nickish on the Soldier. Oh my incredible. God, he's able to get two. He's incredible. <laughs> Who is this guy? Someone sighted him. He's insane. He's absolutely insane. Let's get an instant replay on that. Do you have to say that was uh, that was lovely? 
<laughs> Going straight for the tank with sights. That's exactly what you should do every time, just for all of you bronze players out there. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't even worry about the uh, about the supports in the back who are healing the tank yeah. incessantly. Um, just it's go straight for the tank. It's even better if you do it into a shield, particularly like a Rhine shield. Absolutely. So you, you really get the most out of that ultimate. I, 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 I really think so. Um, sometimes you just got to put as much damage into a shield as you can to uh, to display dominance. <laughs> that's just that's just how it goes. Oh, nice shots Hanzo. from the arrow coming down on the uh, Bastion from the Hanzo. Unfortunately, he is going to get picked off by the red team Reaper Waffle. Very aggressive. Reaper is holding on to this ultimate right here. Let's see if he's going to try to use oh, it here. Sense. I think he sees a possible opportunity as the blue team Reinhardt is going to charge in. Is he able to get Very out? Very lucky not to get punished a lot more for that, to be honest. Honestly, he yeah. Ran into everybody. He really did. And uh, that just means he's got some good healers, including the Stige 1 on the Moira who came out with the Coalescence, unable to actually get anybody. <laughs> Simply Nickish laying down the pain on the red team Bastion. Big Note pin the from the blue team, Ryan. Signal, unfortunately, well. unable to push the Ramatra off of the map, but he did try. And this is a cleanup from the blue side. Yeah, it really Cascade. is. That was that was what wonderful. What do you think of the uh, What do you think of the Sigma switch going into the Ramatra? You know, I, it's it, with Ramatra against, um, with a Ramatra against Reinhardt. It really is kind of. It, it kind of depends. It's good in different situations, one against the other, making it kind of an even matchup, in my opinion, because he can punch through Reinhardt's shield with his nemesis form. Uh, however, yeah. Reinhardt can easily counter, as you might see here. Never mind, you don't see here. <laughs> the Reinhardt goes down from the uh, from Annihilation. <laughs> that could have been well, so good. Well, because you see... Some people don't actually know this, but shields block annihilation. The Ramatra's annihilation. They actually cut off the uh, the the damage from annihilation, and uh, yeah. and some people don't know that. And so that is how Ryan is actually able to counter Ramatra alt pretty effectively, even though in just a regular one v one minus alts uh, might not be so easy for Reinhardt. Yeah. Big so we get from the Siege blue 1 on the fully back. healed Reinhardt. What's that? <laughs> that's blue team getting pushed back pretty heavily, trying to regroup, but that's a lot of space given to red here. It really they is. They started off a bit shaky, but they're really, they're really pushing back into this. Yeah, they were, uh, they were able to cap that point, trying to lay down a little bit of poke damage onto the blue team. They've got two minutes to work with here. Let's see what they're able to do. Big Bleed headshot going down Hanzo. on the red team from the blue team Hanzo. He's getting some great pickoffs this time. He is, honestly. and he's holding that high ground, which is exactly what you want. Although that's a great cutoff shield from the Ramatra on the red team. We got a little that's bit of tank v party. tank action. Nemesis form coming out from the Ramatra. He's going to be getting this pretty low. Blue team Hanzo is going to be laying Ooh. down the dragons. They're able to get two of the red team down. Yeah, Simply Nickish on the, the <laughs> blue team coming out with the go. with the visor. Oh, he's won! He's oh. won! There we go. Excellent work, Simply Nickish. I don't know who you are, but great work. Man, what a guy. Solo ulting. <laughs> that that you Reaper. Know what? The Reaper absolutely deserved he it. He deserved it, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I'm going to call that a stagger kill, so I was tactically. Oh my god. Uh, apparently, <laughs> I don't want to give anything away from later, er, for later uh, from something that happens in this game, but apparently you're not the only one who doesn't <laughs> know that you can't shoot through this gate I... or this fence. Well, okay, we'll save that for a bit later on. <laughs> yeah, but I won't give anything I'm else away. I'm That's just a little teaser one. for what's to come. <laughs> glad I'm not the only one with that. Tank fight coming down. Big hammer down coming from the blue Huge. team, Reinhardt. Amazing double kill. Lovely from Professor Beautiful Plum combo. Coalescence to back it up and keep everyone top then, up. The max. <laughs> and then I'm the dead. blue team Zenyatta <laughs> popping the iris after the team fight is already done. You love to see it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I like to call a follow up. Is the it's just to you know just to doubly make sure after that coalescence that everyone was at full health. You exactly. Know, you never just too careful. preparing for the next fight. Absolutely. That, Absolutely. That's that's preparation. That's what you like to see from your healers getting in their head you know absolutely we do have a tank change uh oh big Dude. ultimate coming out Go from waffle, waffle on the red team oh, able to get white. four of the blue team down oh no we didn't see that one coming and by we i mean the blue team <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if the blue team's able to hold. They're about to go into overtime before it actually gets to the point. Let's see what the blue team can do. 
Nice spiff. We did have a tank change coming down. We have the Arisa now to see if that uh, is able to do anything for them. Kitsune from the red team, Kiriko, coming out. See if they're able to do anything Ryan with needs, that. He needs some heals. He sure does. Unfortunately, the opposite is happening. Eliminations is coming down from the red broke. team. Absolutely. This would need a miracle. I don't think it's going to happen. And with that, that is a great last minute change. The red team is able to cap the third point. Nick, what did you think about that round? Honestly, as, as a completely impartial, unbiased <laughs> commentator here, I think we, I think we, <laughs> I think the blue team started off really well. We held the first, uh, the first choke quite nicely. Red did a really great uh, job of pushing on that. And then they just kept the momentum going. There was never really a point that you felt like red were, were completely stalled. They had a little trouble around that, uh, around that uh, first bend after you get the cart. But from then it was a straight push. And I think Blue really struggled to uh, to deal with the adaptations and, and keep them off point. And I think a big turning point of that was the Red Team Reaper alt near the very end there because they were stalled a Absolutely. little bit before that final point. Uh, but that Red Team Reaper alt just gave them the momentum that they needed to finish it up. Yeah, that was some fantastic play from the Reaper. And uh, speaking of that, the Reaper Waffle has now made a change to Ash. I know you're a big Ash fan. I am a big Ash fan for multiple reasons. Uh... One of which is she's a great DPS. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to let you just sit in that, yeah, honestly. You know, just marinate on that one for a little bit. <laughs> and uh, simply Nick here is uh, changed to his um, probably by now world famous Cassidy. Are, are, are we seeing the same um, thing right here? The red team that? Bastion just kind of chilling Vibing in the back out. line. Mm -hmm. uh, and by back doing, line, doing I mean damage. far away from anything that's happening in the front line. This is um, yeah. I'm not really sure what what. Maybe they're just do they want to feed the plants. I'm not really sure. What yeah, they're they're, uh, yeah, they're just doing some spring yeah, cleaning, as you can see. But uh, we're gonna yeah, let make, them do that and um, just join the action on the front line. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and back here at the front line, looks like the red team, uh, at least the Media sigma, push from Blue. was able. Oh <laughs> yeah, Blue is oh, attacking. I'm push. sorry, I was so distracted by what we just saw. The Blue team is pushing on an <laughs> attack now. Rocklum with a big first kill. Immediately here comes able to get through. And Ash gone in a, in a heartbeat there. Yeah, that was a big push from the Blue team. Moira going in to see if she can get any of a any semblance of a delay on the uh, Blue team push there. Uh, but unfortunately not. Blue team was able to just go straight through those early defenses Five from the red and a team. Half minutes. That, wow, that was a crazy push. Not biased. This is, <laughs> this is gonna this is gonna be a lot of time to work with here. I'd be very surprised if they uh, if they can't make it all the way with five and a half minutes on the clock. Absolutely. Simply Nickish surfing that payload. I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to say. <laughs> this is a professional cast, everybody. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Same thing. Reaper trying to get a little bit of poke damage on. Seeing if he get a flank, but did have to fade away. And this uh, is just a straight march forward right now. Absolutely. Given all the space. Well, I mean, the red team is doing what you're supposed to do in this situation, and they're holding that corner. Uh, let's see if the shatter comes out from the round here. He's holding on to it. I think he might see an opportunity, and there it is. He's able to get a there big shatter down. Shatter. He's able to get a huge shatter down, but the the uh, the cleanse is coming down from the Kirko in order to get all of them up a little bit early. Uh, but fortunately, the blue team the was able to follow up. Fantastic follow up from the Hanzo and the Cassidy here on the DPS to clean up what was an, an incredible Rhino there. Look at this push. They are banking so much time on the blue team. Five minutes. 40 seconds and one point to go. The Reinhardt Insane. almost just took out the Ramatra. That was that was something else. Blue Team Hanzo trying to get a little poke, <laughs> a bit of poke damage Very over here on the front up. line. Playing a little bit of tank. Hanzo with the Blue Team Dragon about to come out. While the Red Team Kiriko puts down the uh, Kitsune anything? Rush. Oh, this isn't looking good Very for Professor Plum push. on the Blue Reinhardt. Big heals. It's Reaper time that we stop for a moment and see what just happened because, Nick, it just happened. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I would like to treat you all 
to something that we hinted at earlier. Before, before we press play on this, I would just like, you know, to say that this is what we really love here on Bronze Casters. And this is a special treat for you that I myself have, on this very, very rare occasion, I would may also, have slightly messed up. <laughs> I would also like to say that just in case you thought this wasn't in good fun, here we are making fun of ourselves. Mostly Nick, and, but and, ourselves. And, and <laughs> before we press play on this, of course I think you can shoot through this thing. It's got it's got holes in it. There are hundreds of holes in this thing. If you logistically, you have to be able to shoot through this fence. This is ridiculous. Carry on. <laughs> That's a nice pose. Just chilling. Right. <clears throat> so what's a, yeah, what's a good angle? Before the storm. What's a good angle for this? Here we go. Oh, I just think straight back. There we go. <laughs> there it is. The dead eye. Big I dead eye so coming out from them. the blue team, Cassidy. You can see halfway through that I suddenly realized that I can't shoot through <laughs> there, so suddenly... I just turn around the other way. I think, uh, well, this is Well, this is maybe someone will pop out on the uh, side of the fence at the last second. <laughs> you never know. Hey, but you made up for it with a big kill right on the red shot. team, Ramatra. Oh, red speaking of red team, uh, the Reaper coming out in the back line, but unable to get anybody with... The Reaper Ultimate, which is a far cry from the first time we saw a Reaper Ultimate in this area just a few short minutes ago. That was honestly just some great work from uh, Stage 1 on the on the Moira to not only keep the heals going, but to also get a couple of kills and make sure that Waffle didn't really get any further with that. Well, I'm sure that uh, if he could hear you right now, he would really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> no lessons is up for Stage 1. Red nice Team Ramacha coming out with the Ultimate. Seeing what they can do. Is. Big hammer down coming in from the blue team, Reinhardt. They're able to take out not only the Ramacha, but also the Kirko and the Reaper. And with that, the blue team are going to cap and we are going into sudden death. That is an absolutely insane push from blue. Four minutes and four seconds on the clock. This is an insane advantage going into this sudden death and what this means nick is since blue team has time banked and red team does not have any time banked that means that all the blue team has to do is get one tick on the first point um if they're unable That's to right. do that the game will actually draw uh since the red team has no no time banked they do not get a chance uh to see how far they can get <clears throat> so it's actually uh, the blue team. All they have to do is get one cap, or I'm sorry, one tick, one of the three ticks on the uh, on the original on the original points. And, uh, and based they have on four minutes to do exactly, so. they have four minutes before it goes into overtime. And uh, honestly, with their performance on that on on their offensive push, I mean, um, I'm expecting good things. Now, unfortunately, it does look like we've had a dropout from the red team. Uh, yo. Yeah, you're right. Red team so is currently four down players, to so four. Uh, hopefully. This would be the most miracle hold you've ever seen. It, it really would. It really, really would. Uh, we do hope that they come back and, and try to make the most of it, but I don't know. Maybe the the whoever did leave on the red team, who was that? One of the DPS? No, that was one of the healers, one of the supports. Correct. Uh, yeah, they might have just loss. they might have just seen the end was near uh, and it, I don't know. They just <laughs> made a run for it, quite, took the loss. This is quite a common thing in bronze lobbies. You think so? Honestly, I, I could see it happening in any lobby. I mean, people think that in like the lowest lobbies, Sorry it's going to be more toxic. But you know what? I, I, I beg to differ. I feel like it's that way in so many lobbies. And uh, with the clear advantage, right, the blue team is making the push onto the point and is able to secure the victory. Nick, what a game. What a beautiful display from the blue team, um, which we are totally Absolutely. not biased against at all in any no. way. And I, I was personally rooting for the red, actually. I, you uh, know, I really wanted, wanted the red to win. Especially after they lost one person. You would have you would have loved to have seen them hold somehow. Like the spirit of that team just come to the forefront and absolutely be able to hold that point, even though it would only at best end up in a draw. I mean, it I mean, would have been insane. Everybody loves an underdog story. It, they right? really we do. all love an underdog story. Even if so. it's against your own team. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. I mean, even if it was against me as a player. Yeah, um, exactly. It's a, what a, a very anticlimactic ending to what was a fantastic game. And we really would, wanted to show you that to 
you know, take a little fun out of ourselves and also show you that, hey, we're also fallible. You know, we can make mistakes too. Yeah. Some of us more than others. Yeah. I mean, I played a perfect game, uh, but Nick was, uh, he, you know, great. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely kidding. But, uh, you know, it was, <laughs> it was fun. It was fun to watch. It was fun to see. We hope you all enjoyed uh, this bronze spectates of technically a silver match um, where we are marginally better than what we normally spectate. Nick, do you have any parting words? Yeah, I think given that performance, I was hard carried to silver is all I can say. Probably, Nick. So, um, Probably. <laughs> uh, I do want to yeah, make... I hope you enjoyed it, and I, I hope you really enjoyed this casting series. I do want to make one more point. Uh, if you would like to submit a bronze replay, currently we are accepting Overwatch bronze replays. There is a form down in the description below, and we'll try to yep. remember to make a pinned comment. Uh, but go submit it. It's a Google form and we'd love to see your bronze replays. This is all in good fun And uh, it, you know, you'd be, be helping us out a lot and uh, not make us uh, spectate our own games <laughs> True, very true. <laughs> but with yeah, that, go ahead and, uh, and fill that out ladies and gentlemen uh, This has been a wonderful time. We are the bronze casters. My name is stage one My name is simply Nick and we will see you next time. Have a wonderful day